Hey guys, it's Doug from Geek Acres, and I am back once again with a quick pop vinyl review. This time, I want to talk to you about the Impopsters. What are the Impopsters? Well, if you're a Batman fan, you probably know. If you're not, you're going to find out. The Impopster line started out when um, Funko repainted the basic Batman mold as some of his favorite villains. So we've got the Batman mold painted as Penguin. We've got the Batman mold painted as the Riddler. We've got the Batman mold painted as Scarecrow. And it's a really cool idea. And let's face it, I mean, it's an easy way for Funko to basically print money. They know that we as collectors, if we're into Batman, we're probably going to buy at least one of these things. I am excited to say that I now have my very first Impopster, and it is this one. This is Batgirl, which is the second one that they did, and it kind of stands alongside the Batman mold. They did Batgirl as Harley Quinn, and they also did Batgirl as Poison Ivy. So here's a look. Try and get the glare off of that. These are the various figures that you can get. The one that's not on there is Killer Croc. Now, Killer Croc was actually part of the uh, Walmart Black Friday box. Let's hope this focuses. And um, so that one is available as well. I think I've seen that one actually still in a couple of uh, my local Walmarts, and it's been several months. So I don't know how they feel that it went, but if you're into that and you haven't picked it up yet, it's a great opportunity to do so. So at any rate, back to Batgirl as Harley Quinn. Now, the interesting thing is, in addition to Batgirl as Harley, there is a Batman as Harley right up here. And I don't get that one, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, I'm sure there are folks who are excited about it. By the way, there's the top. There's the front. And there's the other side. Now, you know I'm an open box collector, so let's tear into this. Well, not tear into it. I do keep the boxes. But... Uh, I do like my figures out and about where I can see them because, honestly, I feel that if they're in the box, you can't see all the really cool angles, all the hard work that an artist went into to create these things. So here is Batgirl as Harley, or is it Harley as Batgirl? I'm not entirely sure. Some really nice detail on this. We've got the utility belt. We've got the boots that have the bat cutout at the very top. I'm pretty happy with this figure. The paint job is relatively crisp. There is a white spot down here along the edge of the cape, but it's something that I can live with. There's also a little bit of paint bleed along the face where the red and black meet the white, but again, something I can live with. She's a great figure, happy to be able to add her to my collection. I will say, that there are no peg holes and one thing about this figure if you do decide to pick her up you may want to stand her at the back of your collection because with the cape she does seem to be a bit back heavy I have gotten her to stand but if you have her in a uh, collecting case or on a shelf it's very possible that she might topple and knock down some folks so if you've got uh, tears, you may want to consider putting her at the back of the riser uh, so that she's leaning against a wall. But that's in Popster Batgirl as Harley, or Harley as Batgirl, I'm not entirely sure which. She is a great little figure. I got her off of Amazon and the box came in pretty decent condition. And again, she is also looking pretty good, so I'm happy to be adding her to my DC collection. That's all I've got for you today. If you've got any thoughts on the matter, be sure and comment down below. And be, uh, be sure to link to uh, my videos if you like. And like, which I think is what I was trying to go for, and subscribe. 
Uh, I would love to be able to talk to you and to be able to continue to share my geeky finds with you. That's it for today, guys. Have a good week.